because we are not eco-brand and I don't think any eco-brand exists. When I think about Lika's work, I can't imagine it not being anything but green, you know, for lack of a better description of what it is. How can it be possibly good for environment? You produce things, you make them. I met Alessandro and he showed me some eco brands. You know, and it's all looked always the same. It, very kind of boring, very poor clothes, almost like yoga wear. The, there was nothing that could say that it could be a legitimate path to the future. There's a real need to rethink a whole design process from what you're starting with material-wise, how you're making something, um, the methods you're using to move things around shipping-wise. If you produce, I don't know, 5,000 pair of jeans, you probably make $10 on each pair. And you're using so much resources, so much gas to transport it, to make it, and then so much hassle to sell it, and then it might not fit well at all, so it might sit in the um, warehouse, so all that. Um, and I thought, why should I produce waste when I can offer the pattern, share the design with people, and they can find a way to make it for themselves, the way it fits them, the fabric they want to, to use, and I would still make the same $10. You know? What we're selling is a digital pattern, um, which is Something you can download from our website um, and print it on your regular printer and then put it together. This is a basic t-shirt that you can buy online right now. And um, it's very simple shape. But from here, if you have a certain amount of desire to experiment, you can go um, in many directions. You can make it even longer and make many holes. Like here you have um, a hole for the legs to stick out. Here you can have many holes for the legs, um, arms, neck, and everything else. And so it would look like this. You can put your hands in the pockets of the piece underneath of the dress. The point is that it's made locally. You bought a piece of fabric and you made it where you are. Or you can go to the local sewer or to the local alteration people. It's not produced in huge quantities. It's not shipped. It's not you know, travels to the store, then travels there and here. I think she's an inspiring, very inspiring designer because she's rethinking things. You know, Lika is original in thought and she's turning things on their head. The patterns that we choose, we choose purposely um, with the thought of, of this design being done from any fabric. Like this could be done from silk, from wool, from canvas, from anything. It's just a little step finding new way of relating to the clothes because if you have something that either you or someone has done for you you kind of see it as a part of as a part of yourself more extravagant clothes as i can say that it's very expensive it's either something that people really do for themselves or they spend a lot of money buying it and not usually, for example, many people I know just can't possibly afford it. And because of that, world is looking very boring. <laughs> so I thought uh, that maybe it would uh, generate some exciting look on the streets if people would be able to make things that are um, maybe complex, maybe um, extravagant. They can alter it slightly, it's up to them. I think that everything, the lifestyle, I believe, will slow down now. And it's not a bad thing, I think it's a good thing. And since people are used to being so busy all the time and so eager to do things, and there are so many people that just like making stuff, but in this country especially, if you make something, you think you have to drag it to like 
some sales points or like try to make business from it, which is not necessarily true. You can just do things for yourself and that would be good enough, you know. It has some kind of dignity, like just do one thing for yourself and not struggle to like run around and trying to sell it. Instead of fighting against a traditional paradigm, you know, or trying to fit herself into an industry, she has decided that, you know, she will build her own path and the right people eventually will find it. And I think she's a bit of a pioneer, you know, a visionary in a way. <laughs>